Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly how to make sublimation coffee mugs just like these. So, today was my very first day doing coffee mugs. I have been experimenting with sublimation for I guess around the last six months or so. I've been mainly doing t-shirts, but lately I've been wanting to branch out into some other things that sublimation can do. And I knew coffee mugs was gonna be something that I wanted to make because I love coffee. And I feel like it's something that would um, definitely blend in well with my shop and with things that I make and do. So anyways, I got the mugs in and I decided to give it a go and yay, it worked so great. I'm obsessed with them. Look at these colors. They are so vibrant, and if you don't know, sublimation is 100% permanent. So what's on this mug, it's gonna last the lifetime of your cup. You can put it in the dishwasher. Um, it will not fade, it will not go away. It's permanent forever. Um, that's the benefit, I guess, over vinyl on mugs and things like that, because vinyl will not last forever on coffee mugs, but the sublimation will. So that's something I definitely wanted to offer and I am in love with it. I only messed up one coffee mug. I did mess up the first one because I went through um, instructions online that were not accurate. So I went and found what works and I did three mugs with this method and it worked great. So let's go ahead and get on into this tutorial and I'll show you exactly how I made those cups. The first thing that you're gonna do is heat your heat press up to 400 degrees. I'd say between 385 and 400. I set mine to 400. The heat press that I have is the StarCraft 8-in-1 heat press, and it comes with this mug attachment, and it comes with different plates, and you can change the plates out for the different size, cups, tumblers, and mugs. Um, I'm using the one that came in the mug attachment. So I have that, and if you have this press and you're curious on how to attach this, it's really simple. When your press comes, it's going to have this connected. All you have to do is unscrew this little thing right here, unplug it, and put the cap back on. This will turn the heating element off of the platen. Then you're going to plug the little tube that comes onto that into the side of your StarCraft press right there. You plug it in just like you unplug the other one, and now the heat is going straight to the press. Now something important to note, the timer is not going to work with this. it You have to close the platen in order for the timer to start counting down. So that's something I want to mention, but definitely go ahead and set your press to it around 385 to 400 to start. Okay, so here are some of the items that you'll need to sublimate on a mug. Like I said before, you're going to need a sublimation mug. Now, you can't go to Walmart or Target or Dollar Tree and buy any mug. It's not going to work. You need a special sublimated uh, a mug made for sublimation. It's got a special coating on it. This one has the Orca coating on it, and you'll see this on a lot of websites. They'll have different types of coatings, but it will only work if it has that coating. So this is a 15 ounce Orca coated sublimation mug. You're gonna need your design. I'm gonna be using this butterfly on one and make sure it is mirrored. You're gonna need butcher paper because sublimation, the ink will release to whatever surface is touching your cup. So you need this um, paper over your design to keep it safe and to keep your press from getting ink all over it. You're going to need heat tape. This is important. You can't use any other tape other than heat tape when it's going into a hot surface. Um, I'll link this down below, the exact one I have, but it is from Amazon. And then you'll just need something to wipe your cup off. You'll, you don't wanna leave any ink, um, you don't wanna leave any lint or anything on your cup or it will die into your tumbler or your mug. So definitely give that a good wipe down before you put your design on it. Okay, I'm gonna just start off by cleaning my mug. Something that I like to do when I'm working with like mugs is put a paint tube behind the handle and it keeps your mug straight for you so you can apply your design in a straight way. 
Okay, then you're gonna wanna take your design and put it face down on your mug. Just make sure you don't have it upside down. Cause these mugs aren't cheap to mess up. So just try and get it as, as centered and as good as you can. Okay, once you've got your design where you want it, you're gonna take your tape and just put it over your design on the sides, on all four sides. Okay, and as you can see, I have my design taped around my mug exactly where I want it. And now I'm gonna take my butcher paper and then you're going to tape that again just on both sides just to keep it down. This just helps hold it in place. Okay, now it is all ready to put into your press. Okay, and now you put it in for 150 seconds at 400 degrees. Okay, you're gonna take it out of your mug or out of your press and make sure you go ahead and just take it off as soon as possible. It is gonna be hot, the handle won't be, but the cup will be, so please use caution and use heat gloves or heat something to protect your hands if that concerns you. Um, I'm just gonna carefully remove it and I'll be careful. Okay guys, here is how it turned out. Look at those bright, beautiful colors. It turned out so good. And I will link the computer settings that I used, the video that I made um, in the cards right here, so if you wanna be able to get your colors the same. Oh, I love it. All right, so here is an up close view of the mugs that I did today. I love how they turned out, I'm obsessed. I wish I would have started this sooner, but at least I know now. But they turned out so cute. All right guys, so that wraps it up for this tutorial. I know it was really short, but honestly, there's not much to creating mugs with sublimation. As long as you have your um, printer settings set up right and your computer settings set up good and you have it press at the correct temperature. And I know every single heat press varies and the mugs vary. So just play around with it and do your research and figure out what works best. But this is what worked best for the cups that I had and the press that I have. And hopefully it will help you out if you are into sublimation and are starting mugs. Um, but I love it. I love how they turned out and I can't wait to make more. I know I'm starting on my fall collection. So I'm gonna be doing some fall stuff soon. I know it's only what the second day of summer or something like that. And I'm already 
think and fall, but that's kind of the small business world. So I'm going to be starting with that soon. And yeah, I know this was a really short video, but thank you for watching. If you made it all the way through, I appreciate you guys so very much. And I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.